Now, final goodbye today for a New York hero who was stabbed to death last week. The FDNY says EMS Lieutenant Allison Russo will be posthumously promoted to captain today at her funeral on Long Island. CBS News' John Diaz has more from the Tillis Center for Performing Arts in Brookville, where friends and family will celebrate her life. This gloomy weather, the backdrop to yet again another somber day for the FDNY and many Long Islanders. Today, they will be saying their final farewells to a woman who was as brave as they come. Today will be the funeral for Lieutenant Russo. The outpouring of support, only just a mere example of the mark EMS Lieutenant Allison Russo will leave on New York. It speaks volumes to the person she was and how many lives she touched, both in and out of service. There are hundreds of people walking this earth who have their life thanks to Allison. Years ago, Michael Greco was Russo's partner in Queens. They worked at the same station for nearly a decade and remained great friends. She was the type of person who uh, would give you the shirt off her back. On Monday, members of the department saluted her parents as they made their way into her wake. The last two days have led up to today, the funeral for the 61-year-old. She will be remembered for the hero she was and her service outreached by only few. Allison was a person that came into a room and really lit up the place. Russo was a World Trade Center first responder. She dedicated 25 years to the FDNY and volunteered with the Huntington Community First Aid Squad. She was a ball of fire. Right. You know, in the fire department, outside the fire department, she was just amazing. We're going to miss her. No doubt hanging up her helmet would have been a hard feat, but Russo was so close to retirement. However, sadly, never made it. She was stabbed to death in the line of duty last week. Her alleged killer is facing murder charges. She was six months away from retiring, and she did all the right things. She did everything she was supposed to do, and she just gave her life to this. And the motive for the stabbing, it is still unclear. However, we are told that the suspect here in this case, he does have a history of schizophrenia. As for Lieutenant Russo, well, we are told that she is survived by her parents, her daughter, and a grandchild. Reporting from Brookville, Long Island, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.